Welcome guys, welcome to another video. Hopefully this will add some value to your business. Now with Google reports on your website, traditionally they've been pretty hard to understand. I mean, if you look at this, it's not at all user friendly unless you constantly have your head in this kind of uh, data. So what we've done here at Oz Digital Media for our website customers is developed dynamic website reports. Now these dynamic website reports are called dynamic reports because they are completely customizable in the date range by the customer. So you can change the date range and get live analytics on your website. So here we have a website for botanicamedicines.com.au. They're one of our customers and they have a fantastic store selling nat uh, natural products as in uh, herbal teas, herbal uh, elixirs, lotions, soaps, that sort of thing. Check them out online, they've got a great store, guys. Now, what this is, is a constant URL. This URL is shared with the customer and they can access this at any time. They don't have to wait for our monthly reports as was, in, was the case in the past. Now, here we have a four-page report on the, the, only the most essential data and the data is broken down into easy to understand uh, information. So here we have the essential data on sessions. Now you can see we have, uh, what do we have here, the last 14 days. Let's do a search for the last seven days, including today, and click apply. And you can see the data ripples through, it's live, okay? As soon as you change that date range, the entire sheet changes. So we can see we have uh, sessions are up 22% on the last seven days and the average session duration is two minutes, which is <laughs> phenomenal. I've seen this go up to eight minutes plus on this website. Um, but this is down 23%, okay, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It might be that uh, the page is loading much faster now due to some improvements we've made, and now the customer doesn't need to spend as long on the, on the page. Uh, the bounce rate is up 3.8%. That's not, a, not necessarily a bad thing either. Impressions, average position. Look, average position on Google is 22% higher. They're 21 now on Google. Um, and if we go down here to more of the report, we've got the top 10 search terms. Uh, look at this, search terms for this website. So this tells the customer what search search terms are being used to find their website. We can see here, this is an interesting one here. Jared Quigley is a doctor in Melbourne here and he has a radio show and he's actually, actually generating a lot of interest. So people are searching his name in Google, finding the Botanica website and 4.9% of those people are clicking on the information on the Botanica website regarding this search term. So that's great. It's, his name is generating interest in their website. And you can adjust these, you can search by average position. Okay, we can search by clicks, click through ratio, or click through rate rather. Uh, it's completely customizable, which is great information. Let's look at page two. Uh, top traffic sources, this is crucial information. You can see here 52% of their traffic comes from Google. 40%, a whopping 40% comes from a direct hit. So that's someone who has the URL in an email or a blog or something like that, they click on it, bam, they're straight to the website, okay? That's called a direct hit or an organic hit. Now we have sessions by state. So we can see here 772 come from Victoria and then rippling down. We can adjust that, go the reverse if we like and the lowest at the top, we can flip it back and have the highest at the top, completely interactive. And if we go into page four, we've got the additional services offered by Oz Digital Media, or our most popular services anyway. So let's compare this to a traditional um, Google Analytics report. And you can see how clean this data is here compared to this here and even this here, this is a PDF exported from Google Analytics. If we go onto here, we wanted to see what people were doing, what pages they were hitting. You know, we'd have to go down to uh, something like this, uh, overview, and look at the report we get here. It's not exactly user-friendly in my opinion. And if, even if we go down to behavior and behavior flow, things like this, pe most people will look at this and say, that's just way too hard. Whereas this simple, simplified dynamic website report gives the customer just what they need to analyze their website and get the information they need quickly and move on with their day. Now let's look at another website. This is our website, Oz Digital Media. You can see uh, in the last 
two weeks, the last, let's see here, oh, last 30 days, including today, yep, and you can see it rippling through. We've got a 51% increase in traffic. The average session duration is nearly two minutes, which is great, that's up 58%. Bounce rate is down 5%. And all this data is gives us information to work with. We can see the search terms people are, are looking for. And if we go through to um, traffic sources, we can see you know, a, an incredible 57% is direct. So that's from email marketing and, and all sorts of promotions, YouTube, everything, just bam, people click on that, come straight to the website. Uh, sorry, excluding YouTube. YouTube is over here, 4.5%, 11 hits. And we can see here, 139 hits, 57%. Google, 65 hits, 26%. Okay, so it might be worth increasing our exposure on Google, maybe running a, an ad campaign on Google. And we can see here the states, hit, hit by states. If we go through to some more interesting information, here we can see here, oh, here's a blog. This is a blog. Um, actually, this is a product. This is a product here that's doing quite well. Okay, this is a blog that's doing quite well, and another blog. So you can see here, guys, the importance of blogging. Um, that's a page with, with a coffee table book that was uh, produced by us, and we can see here, ah, oh, here we go, interesting. Botanica Medicine's new website. This is a portfolio post about the creation of that website. It's had 11 hits in the last month, which is great. So they've probably hit on that. Then they've clicked on the button that's there that throws across to that client's website. So it's it's all sort of, um, we help you, you help us, it all goes around and around. Another reason to have links on your website, guys. Google loves them. <clears throat> now, these, these dynamic reports are part of the service here when you sign up for a website design with us. So we build the website for you, and then we host the website on one of our hosting packages, whether it be basic or premium. And the hosting packages are very affordable and they're ongoing. We basically take care of everything for you, including your content each month. All you do is send us the content you want uploaded. We format it, upload it properly and make it look as clean as this website looks. Guys, if you'd like to take advantage of a special offer today, we have a 20% discount code on website design. I'll put the code in the link below and you can see here we have uh, many options. You can have 10 pages, 10 products, 20 pages, 20 products. You can create your own website through our service and it will look as great as all of our customer websites. 20% off guys, only valid until the end of October 2018. So hope this has helped you. Hope it's brought some value to your business. Check out our dynamic website reports at ozdigitalmedia.com.